what is up you guys what is going on and welcome back to another video welcome back to another reaction video i've got one more in me for this morning his name is demario davis he's a linebacker for the new orleans saints this video came out approximately five months ago yes i'm late but it's better to be late than to never get there at all and guys when i say i'm going to do something i do it this list this list is is my main project for this YouTube channel right now and um, I'm enjoying it. So all I can say is I hope you guys are too. Wherever you are in the world, let me know down in the comment section below, man. In this video, let me know where you're tuning in from, what time it is, what city, what country, and um, let's see. That interests me, okay? I'm in New Zealand right now. Do we have any other Kiwis? Do we have many New Zealanders? Or Australians watching these videos fucking let me know down in the comment section below anyways guys with all that being said I think it's time to to check out the 67th best player in the league Mario Davis let's go talk to me about the Mario Davis from the Saints uh, the well he a dog um let me listen would you rather be right now talk to me about the Mario Davis from the Saints uh the Mario Davis from the Saints he another dude as it's a dog <laughs> Really? Not a lot of guys in the league that just want to hit with you all game, and he just one of them. You know, I know every time I play him, it's gonna be, gonna be a bloodbath. Damn man, I believe him too. I actually do. When you want to get a Mike linebacker to run your defense, you look for a Demario Davis type. This is our moment. Nobody believes that like we do. Two, it's anger. Somebody try. Yeah, that ain't T Pain. But I tell you what, I tell you what, guys, I tell you fucking what. You stop this video right now. You put a pair of dark glasses on his face right now. That is T Pain. I'm not going to lie. He's a beast, man. He's fast. <laughs> He's physical. Fuck, you know. He's smart. That was against Delvin Cook. They know they can't get to the edge by stretch. They're going to run stretch, but the way to get into the edge is by tossing on the clips. He has leadership. I don't care about nothing else. They don't run that football. That's a mentality and a mindset. This whole mentality is going to change. <laughs> Fuck, it is T Pain. It's his brother. Let's snatch his soul. He's just everything you want from a Mike linebacker. Right out. <laughs> In 2019, Demario Davis led the Saints with 111 <sighs> tackles yeah, now. and was named first team All Pro. Oh, he goes in hard, man. He goes in well. There is no shit tackles. Okay, he um he's driving his shoulder. I mean, with the helmet. To helmet contact i hate it but it's a part of the game but he's using his shoulder he's using his shoulder effectively he's wrapping them up i mean that tackle right there is literally Pro. textbook for a game of football you know the only thing you could have done with that is to put his head on the opposite side and go in with his left shoulder but if his right shoulder is his most dominant shoulder then more times than not, he's probably going to drive with that one. In fact, let's check which shoulder he did drive with in each of these tackles. Let's check. He's just everything you want from a Mike linebacker. Does he have a preferred side? Well, that was just straight on. In 2009, that's using his right shoulder. Demario Davis led the Saints with hmm. left shoulder. Left shoulder when he probably could have and should have used his right. So I've now seen both shoulders. I feel like no, there is no discrepancies there. Let's continue. 111 tackles and was named first team all pro. Man, if you're getting 111 tackles, you're going to be tackling on both shoulders, really, aren't you? Yeah, that was that was silly. And to Mario Davis comes up with the interception. <laughs> The only reason I say that is because. Oh, fuck yeah, now let's watch that one. Oh, God! 
You go and hurdle someone, just as you're coming down, you get a shoulder, a Conor McGregor shoulder strike up in your face. Damn, son. He can cover backs or tight ends. So yeah, the only reason why I was mentioning the, uh, the different shoulders is the fact that I know it doesn't matter how solid you look, there has got to be one shoulder that just feels slightly different. It's like kicking a ball, right? It's like throwing a ball. You know what I mean? So for a tackle to literally have that technique and that power down for both shoulders, to literally see someone in front of you, doesn't matter whether they're running right or left, that doesn't affect the way that you go in for the tackle. That would make a fantastic linebacker, right? He also had 12 passes defensed, tying Lou Keekley for the NFL lead among linebackers. Tamario Davis was all over that one. Physical in the run game. <laughs> Under pressure, and he's taken down. Demario. But the way that he gets through there, like, he, like he's just mentioning, you know, the way that he, he can blitz, he can get past people basically. So I want to know, I'd be doing him a disservice if I didn't look up his stats because he has impressed me with his quickness, no doubt. He's impressed me with his tackles too. So, he is. 31 years of age, he's no spring chicken. He got picked up in 2012 by the Jets. He's been to the Browns. Back to the Jets, and now he's at the Saints. He was a first-team All-Pro last year, and uh, well, if we're looking at his stats, he's six foot two, 107 kg. He's a linebacker, remember? 452 for the 40-yard dash. You've got a six foot two, 240-pound, four-five 40-yard dasher blitzing the quarterback. Okay, who's going to stop him? Who is going to stop him? Someone with sheer size. Certainly not someone who's going to be quicker than that. That's pretty fucking quick. 38 and a half vertical jump, 10 foot four on the broad jump. What? 32 reps on the bench? Uh? 32 reps on the bench. Okay. All right. Okay. Demario Davis, third round, 2012 draft. He was the 10th linebacker drafted in 2012. The 10th. I wonder how many of those are still in the league. I'm not going to find out, but if you guys want to find out, let me know down in the comments section. That would be appreciated. Let me see here. September 12th, 2020, he signed a three-year, $27 million extension with the Saints. He earned that clearly the year before with his performance, and he got paid once again. So that's, that's a win-win. Davis finds his way into the backfield. Yeah, that's 4 5 two. Look at this. You got that mindset. He's coming around. I wouldn't mind actually watching a game with Demario Davis. Watch, you know, watching him quite closely throughout the game and just seeing what other teams do to try and stop him from, from, you know, fucking up the play. What do they do? Who do they put on him? And how do they try and stop him? You know, to iron everything you're going to get. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes, man, when you're feeling like that, you're feeling this adrenaline, honestly, you feel you've got shivers down your spine, right? And you look up to the sky and you put your hands up like that, it's like, this is it. This is the feeling. This is this is life. This is emotion, you know? I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling it right now, to be honest. I feel it pretty much every time I go for a run, guys. A certain song will come on and uh, it'll make me feel some kind of way and I'm gonna stop that now. And um, I will run along with my hands outstretched like that, palms up, eyes up. Sometimes I may be crying, sometimes I might not be. But it's the feeling and it's adrenaline and I feel that 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 burst of um, of energy. Where is it coming from? It's not coming from fuel, it's not coming from food, it's coming from your brain. It is literally coming from your brain. 
all of that sensation that you feel during that moment is coming from here and what you what you see and what you feel so uh, that that is why the mind and the mindset that you're in day to day is so 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 important and where you wake up and what your environment is like around the place that you wake up is so 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 important and before I left to come on the road uh, my environment around when I woke up was terrible it was not conducive to my life to my attitude to my goals my dreams my ambitions it just wasn't and I had to leave this is my dad's house I'm talking about it's just it's, it's not working anymore we're totally totally different people I actually thought we were really similar and we are in certain ways we've got genetics okay I've got my dad's genes as I get older there's gonna be certain things that come out in me that I'm gonna be like fuck man that is straight up my dad but right now he's 65 I'm 30 the differences are there and unfortunately right now the differences are just too much so for now I'm on my own I'm in Queenstown I've moved here I have literally I, th I think I've moved here I honestly think I have you know up to this point I didn't really know yesterday I decided to join a gym it's a fight gym it's an MMA um, boxing slash kickboxing Muay Thai jiu-jitsu gym plus it's got the weights there so it is like a hub it's called a fitness facility plus fight gym and I cannot wait to get stuck in so there's one thing there is one final thing in the year 2020 that I wanted to achieve did the marathon did the bodybuilding did the rugby did the van life you know what I mean I've played basketball here I've played golf here I went snowboarding this year um, one thing I haven't done is surfing but regardless of that there is one one thing that's 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 stayed consistent throughout this time in my brain as a goal as a challenge and that is to train properly um, as a kickboxer just to give it my all put my all into it for at least a couple of months see what kind of potential I have see if I really enjoy it and uh, let the cards fall where they may you know martial arts is a passion of mine I'm not gonna lie it's it's as it's as it's as much of a sporting passion as a fan for me now um, as rugby and that's saying something you know I like rugby American football and mixed martial arts as a fan equally and that's saying something it really is so for me as an athlete at age 30 if I'm gonna enjoy watching something I have to try it myself it doesn't matter if I'm shit, doesn't matter if I walk in and I walk out half an hour later, I have to try it myself. And believe it or not, I did actually try it this year. I went to Thailand, I sometimes forget this, it seems like it was a lifetime ago. February this year, I was in Thailand, I did two weeks at Tiger Muay Thai, two and a half weeks, and I fucking loved it. And it's easy to forget how you feel in certain moments, certain situations, but you know, even just thinking about it now, I, I had the most fun in some of those Muay Thai classes that I have ever had ever you know no fitness no H no no high intensity fitness class no gym workout with a friend no game of rugby you know no <laughs> certainly no bodybuilding show have I ever enjoyed more so than that Just for a guy like this this experience I I run through my head quite a lot actually because it, it reminds me of of how this, this was this was actually the true this was the first inkling guys of feeling free true freedom and I I put myself in that situation I did it I made it happen because I was so desperate at the time I needed freedom I needed to feel free I needed to do something I've always wanted to do you think about something every day it's not gonna go away you know you've got to do it you've got to live without regrets within reason everything costs money okay if you've got certain things in life that you want to do okay and if you don't do them if you don't get them done you know you're gonna regret it but you need money to make them happen well put a plan in place save for six months that's what I did I saved for fucking seven years bro now I'm living on the road on my savings because I can it's not gonna last forever and so the one moment that I remember well it was every morning actually but I got up at 750 right 
in Thailand. I'd go downstairs to the reception. I, I, I was staying in a hotel probably two k's away, two minutes on a scooter. I got my scooter, right? It's a free espresso machine down in the reception. So I'd get my stuff on, I'd pack my bag, I'd go down to reception, say hello to the receptionist. I'd have three shots of coffee within about a minute. She'd think I'm an absolute nutter. I'd say, see you later. I'm going to go and train. It's 7.55 in the morning. I'd go outside, it's fucking hot. Jump on my scooter, two minutes, I'm down at Tiger Muay Thai. Okay, this place that I'd seen on, on YouTube and on <laughs> throughout the UFC. Um, for years, you know, I'd seen it. I'd seen it and I'd be like, I fucking want to get there. I'm going to get there. And I did. And in February, I was there. And at 8 o'clock each morning, I was buzzing on coffee. There were different people in the class every single day. This was before COVID. You know, not, none of the shit was going on. And it was, it was a vibe, man. It was a real vibe. And I fucking loved it. And I said to myself, I'm going to be back here soon. Sooner rather than later. And it seems, and it seems that you know, the passion hasn't gone. In fact, the passion for the sport, the passion for the excitement, actually. It's not passion. It's excitement about finally joining a proper fight gym, getting involved. You know, it's a new community of people. It's just like joining a normal gym. You, you see the regulars there. You're going to get to know them. They're going to become your friends. And you're like-minded. Like-minded people. That's what I was always after. That's what I was struggling to get in Alice Springs. And that's what I'm slowly but surely getting in my life is like-minded people to, to vibe off. You know, you can't, you can't be by yourself all the time, man. You can't. You can't. It gets fucking boring and it'll send you insane. And you can't achieve everything by yourself either. Sometimes you need to ask for help. You know, sometimes you need to relinquish a little bit of control in whatever you're doing, whatever goal you may have. To get that help you might need and that's something I've not been open to do but it's something I'm certainly getting more open to do including things like collaborations on this YouTube channel I was scared I was scared about doing collabs I was scared that people might think I'm not who I seem to be on camera I was scared about meeting someone you know that had watched me for years online and then being underwhelmed at, at what I'm like but the fact is guys is I'm confident I know who I, I, I'm getting to know who I am right now but the fact is guys is that the fact is is that in the year 2020 I have done some some soul searching man I've done some growing I've done some maturing beyond all other years of my life I feel like 2020 has been a turning point I feel like 2020 is a year I will never ever forget I feel like 2020 is a year that I need to write about to actually get all of this shit that's happened throughout the year out you know what I mean rather than talk about it on a YouTube video which is how I'd normally work through things I'm gonna write about it I'm gonna write about it I've got my writing pad here I've got two incredible pens that I went and bought. They're about 10 bucks each. They're fucking amazing rollable ink pens. I'm ready to start writing. I'm ready to write some memoirs. And I'm going to really enjoy it. That's something I'm going to work on while I'm away. As well as continuing to make these videos. And guys, if you've made it to the end of this one, which I honestly think hardly any of you will have, I appreciate it. This has been fun. This is my second morning of reactions whilst being on the road. I feel like I will be back probably within probably within two or three days. It's Friday the 11th of December and it's 10.30 a.m. And I'm coming to you from my new hometown, believe it or not, Queenstown. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. It's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.